Hey guys, Seanak Patwardhan here and welcome to another tutorial from Conius Arts and today I'm going to explain a pretty powerful expression in After Effects, the linear expression. Okay, now I know a lot of us shy away from expressions but they do open a huge world of possibilities and automate a lot of things that would be time consuming and tedious and let's face it if you're working in the kind of place like where I do. And there are three clients on your head for quick fixes you gotta act cool and start coding so let's get started so the linear expression is written as follows linear open parentheses value t minimum t maximum value 1 and value 2 close parentheses so the expression can be divided into three parts the first part is linear Linear is basically an interpolation method between two values. Let's put that aside for now. Second part is the value part of this. This can be either time in seconds, uh, the time will be calculated in seconds, or any value that you input here. On the third part is the four values that you input in the expression t minimum and t maximum are basically the minimum and maximum driving values these two values are going to drive the value 1 and value 2 these are the driven values value 1 and value 2 are the driven values I know this might get a little confusing so I'm going to explain this expression with three examples so let's dive into After Effects Okay, so once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Comp. This is going to be the, our example 1. 30 FPS is fine, 1920 by 1080, okay. Go to Layer, New, Solid. This is going to be our background, so PG. Press OK. I'm going to create another solid. Uh, you can just press Ctrl Y to create a new solid and I'm going to change this to a different color. Orange solid is fine. And change the scale of this solid to maybe 50% just so that it's easier to see what's going on. Now I'm going to explain to you how to change the opacity of this layer from 0 to 100 linearly in a specific amount of time so the value changes linearly okay guys linear is basically the interpolation method of this uh, of the animation that happens when you apply the expression so click on the layer and press T to open up the opacity alt click on the stopwatch open up the expression box then type in linear and open parentheses now this is going to be a time-based expression instead of a value-based expression so um, type time comma 1 comma 5 now 1 and 5 are the is actually the time calculated in seconds so this expression is going to happen between the first second and the fifth second on the timeline. Press comma and the next two values are the values of the opacity of the layer that will change between these two seconds. So 0 to 100 is cool. And then I'm going to end this expression with a semicolon. And press enter. Uh, enter is actually the key that you find on the numeric pad to the right of your keyboard. And the enter key that you see uh, under the backspace key that is actually the return key. So press the enter key on the numeric pad to finish the expression. You can just click elsewhere uh, in After Effects to do the same thing. So that's your expression. So if you preview this from maybe the first six seconds you will notice that the opacity value changes from 0 to 100 between 1 and 5 the first and the fifth second of this animation if you change this to maybe 4 if you preview this you'll notice that nothing happens for the first four seconds 
and it, then it changes from 0 to 100 between the 4th and the 5th second. You can just change this to anything, 50%. So now the opacity is changing from uh, 0 to 50% between the 4th and the 5th second. So that's actually the example. Uh, that's actually okay so let's move on to the example 2 composition new comp example 2 uh, everything else remains the same press ok then go to layer uh, actually let's reuse the PG that we created for the earlier example this time let's give it a gradient ramp radial just move this to the center Away. This will be dark and a bit of a vignette look to this. Okay, let's lock the BG. Uh, let's create another solid. But this time uh, it will be a 500 by 500. Press OK. Apply a fill to this. Generate fill. This will be our. Okay. Move that aside for now. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this and uh, change the color to a different purple. Purple is cool, right? Okay. No, I don't want purple. I want blue. I like blue. Okay, so now we have two solids. Now we are going to use the linear expression to drive the rotation value on the green solid by the position value on the blue solid, the x position value on the blue solid. So to begin that first, I'm going to rename these two green and blue just okay now the green solid blue solid press P to open up the position property of the blue solid right click on it and select separate dimensions so we have X and Y separate on the blue solid then click on green solid and press R to open up the rotation and you can just go to this arrow at the very end of this line to, and then go to interpolation and click on linear you get the same expression but it's just easier to do it this way now we're gonna have to make some changes to this if I change the X position of this blue solid you can get the values that you need to drive this expression if the blue solid is at 500 I want the green solid, the rotation on the green solid to be zero. And if this is say at 600, I want the green solid to rotate a full 360 degrees. So we are going to have to define this D first. Let's expand this box and move this to the second line. Now T is equal to, just click on this pick whip icon and drag it to the X position. So basically what it's telling After Effects to do is that T is going to be the X position of this layer. So if 500 is the minimum at which the expression begins and 600 is the maximum at which the expression happens if uh, the value of this X position is lesser than or equal to 500 the value 1 is the rotation value it is 0 and if it is more than 600 equal to or more than 600 the value 2 will be 360 a full 360 degree turn semicolon at the end so this is your expression 
if I change the X position of this blue solid you'll notice that before 500 nothing happens but after it but the time in which it moves from 500 to 600 the green solid rotates a full 360 degrees so that is your second example of the linear expression the third example is going to be a little more fun because it has some cool applications uh, let's go to composition new comp example 3 press ok let's import an audio to this audio clip uh, I can't really play this audio clip for um, copyright reasons but I can definitely show you what happens when I do it drag this to the timeline right click on the audio clip layer uh, for this to work the layer has to be an audio layer so go to keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes you get this audio amplitude layer uh, it's a null with three channels on it we don't really need the left and the right channel so you can just select them and delete them now we're going to use this slider to change the scale values on another layer if you open this up if you click on the slider and then click on this graph editor icon here you can see the graph of this values as they change over time so uh, import another layer let's just import the Konya's Arts logo for now and drag it to the timeline it's a bit too big so resize it and uh, let's pre-compose this layer uh, press ctrl shift c on your keyboard to pre-compose it logo okay press s to reveal the scale and if i all click on the stopwatch and pick with the scale to the slider and review this composition you'll see that the animation is not exactly what I want and I don't have any control over this I can't change the slider values because then the entire graph changes and uh, that's not something that I want so I and I can't change the scale since it's it has an expression on it I can't change it uh, so to remedy this we can use the linear expression if I all click on the slider we can add an expression over here linear open parentheses value now the first two values are going to be the values of this audio amplitude that change over time and I want the range to be between 0 to 40 so 0 comma 40 and the next two values are going to be the scale values of my logo so uh, since I don't want it to completely go to 0 uh, let's say let's keep it to 40 percent and 120 percent now if you preview this you'll notice that the uh, scale never goes below 40 percent it will always if you pause this video at any point the scale will always be more than 40 percent right here so that is the third example of the linear expression okay guys so i hope you liked the tutorial and if you did please like and subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more fun stuff like this in the future i also have my social media links in the description of this video so don't forget to check out my pages i do give out tips and tricks on there as well so until next time shawnak over and out